Hi there, my name is Jack the Fallout and today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own Blade and Sorcery voice pack. But before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to Sushin. Without their help, this mod and guide wouldn't have been as easy to make, so thank you. Their links can be found in the description. Also, a massive shout out to the Blade and Sorcery Discord because they were a huge help to make this a possibility as well, so thank you to the Blade and Sorcery Discord. Also, if you find this tutorial helpful in any way, give it a like so more people can find it and learn how to make their own voice pack. Just like this. You're really crap at blade and sorcery. Oh, it's the me! So the first thing you're going to want to do is download everything you need. Firstly, you're going to want to download Unity Hub. A link to the Unity Hub page can be found in a description. After you have downloaded and installed Unity Hub, download the correct version of Unity, which should be Unity version 2020.3.23 F1. Install that through Unity Hub like so. I already have it, so I don't need to do anything else. The next thing you're going to want to download is my voice pack base, which will contain all of the files you need to make your very own voice pack. I've made it as easy as possible to create your very own voice pack. A link to that can be found in the description of this video. The next thing you have to download is the Blade and Sorcery SDK, which is basically the modding resource folder for Blade and Sorcery. You can find a link to the SDK in the description below. When downloading the SDK, make sure you click on master and then next update go to code and download the zip onto your computer once it's downloaded extract it into a folder or wherever you would like it to be i recommend going for a cup of tea while it extracts and then open the sdk and then rename it to what you're calling your voice pack i chose my voice pack because it's the base name of all of the files that i have we will explain more about that later so you should have a folder called whatever your voice pack is called and now you want to open the sdk with unity so what you have to do is click open find where your blade and sorcery sdk file is located and then open it with Unity just like so. Now's a great time to have another cup of tea. What do you mean you haven't finished the first one? And then once all of that is done, you should have Unity open just like this. I don't think it matters very much, but because it's an audio based mod, click on scripts and then click on audio like so. And this is where you're going to create your voice pack. Now you're going to need the voice pack base. If you haven't downloaded it already, link can be found in the description. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract that onto your PC. I recommend making a subfolder for it. And in that folder, you're going to see a bunch of JSON files and my voice pack at the top. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag and drop my voice pack into the audio section of Unity, just like so. And then once you do that, we can have a look at what's inside my voice pack. In there is three folders, chicken, human male, and human female. There is a high chance that the chicken doesn't actually work. While I use the chicken as reference on how to make the mod, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to even add sounds to the chicken or not. In the chicken folder, you've got alert, choke, death, death slow, hit and idle. Alert and idle aren't used in the male and female characters. And also in the human folders, you have all of the characters, they're important for later. And in each of the character folders, there is different subfolders for all the sounds you should be adding. Human male and human female have both the same subfolders in them. So in both the male and female folders, you'll find attack bow, attack cast, attack melee, death, Death slow, enemy spotted, falling, herd noise, and hit. All of these correspond to actions performed in game. You're going to need to record voice lines for those actions. Or you could always download sounds from the internet. The option's there if you want it. You can do whatever you like with this voice pack. If you are going to record your own voice pack, I recommend downloading Audacity. I'm not sure how to use it, so you might have to look at guides on the internet, but the option's there if you need it. If you are using editing software to do this, I use Vegas, I just named it my voice pack, and then you record the corresponding lines to what you need. For example, attack sounds, you would go here, just like that, or any other lines that you can think of. 
And then you've got the arduous process of recording every single sound or downloading all of the sounds that you can think of for each of the categories in each of the sections. So there are two genders, controversial, and one creature. There are five male and female characters that you will want to record lines for. And in those characters, there are nine categories which I listed previously. I recommend pausing the video now, going to record your sounds or download them. So at the end of all of that, you should have filled up everything with voice lines or downloaded audio clips. My folders might appear to be empty at the moment, but that's only because I'm showcasing what we have to do. Yours should be filled up with audio clips. Now we're going to need to make the audio containers. First, you're going to need to right click, go to create, go to Thunder Road, make an audio container. And you're going to need to make an audio container for each category. So you'll need an audio container for attack sounds, death sounds, everything. All of those folders need to have audio containers in them. Once you've done that, go to the voice pack base, click on the text document that's in there, and then you will see something that I've done for you. In here, you have all of the audio container names that you need. So you should now go and change the corresponding name of the audio containers to the folder that it is in. For example, there should be an audio container in attack bow, cast, melee, death, death slow, enemy spotted, falling, heard noise and hit. You should also change my voice pack to what your voice pack is called as well. Then you should change the name of all of them to what is found in the text document. After you have done that, it should look a bit like this. Make sure to tick addressable on all of the audio containers as well. Now you need to change them from Vorbis to PCM. And to do that, you hold control and click on one of the audio files and then go to the top bar, click edit, select all, hold control again and unselect the audio container. Then click on inspector and change the compression format to PCM, click off and then go OK. Then you should click on the audio container and then drag and drop the sounds right in there just like this. Make sure you get all of the sounds in there that you need. If you click off, just click back on the audio container and then that's how to set up an audio container. Now you need to do that for every single category. Once every audio container has all of its audio in it, you have to set up your asset bundles. And to do that, you need to go to the bottom here, click new and copy and paste the character names. Once they've been pasted in there, be sure to press enter to enter it. And then that will create your asset bundles. Every character in the game needs their own asset bundle. Copy and paste every single character name from the text document down there. And once you have all of the character asset bundles, click on the audio container and change them to their respected characters. Just like you're seeing on screen now. And once you've done that for all the characters, now it's time to make the packed assets groups. Go onto any of the audio containers, uh, right click, go to properties, and then click select. That should open up another window called addressables groups. And then to make it a little bit easier, hold control, go to the tab at the top, and drag and drop it into your area just like that. And then in that tab, you wanna right click and create a new addressable group. When you right click, you should see create new group and then go to packed assets and then create a packed assets group right there. And then it should just be called packed assets. You wanna change that name to the corresponding characters in the game. You should make 11 in total. There are five male characters and five female characters and one chicken. And once that's done, you want to move the audio containers into the sections that they belong to. So the chicken will go into the chicken one, the human elf female will go into human elf female one, etc, etc. And once it's all done, it should look a little bit like this. In the addressables group tab, you should see a little arrow pointing down on each of the audio containers. You wanna click that arrow and go manage labels and then a little window will pop up and then you push the plus button and you're able to create a label. You need to make a label called windows and then add that label to all of the audio containers, just like you're seeing on the screen right now. Now what you should do is you should click on the addressable groups. They should be named after the characters. Once you click on it, it should highlight it in the asset groups, right click, go properties, 
And then this window should pop up and you need to change the build local path to local build path and the load path to local load path. And then just change them and close it. And you have to do that for all of the asset bundles. If you open the voice pack base, you'll see creature human female, creature human male and creature human unmale, which is the chicken. You don't need to touch any of them, but it is a good idea to now open the manifest and change the manifest to what your voice pack is called and its description and your author name as well. So now if you go into voice pack base and open up the text file that I have provided, you will, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see these lines of, I, I guess they're code. The top one says my voice pack, PDS mail, egg layer, chicken alert. These are the addresses to tell the game what specific thing to do. And all of these lines correspond to all of the different characters that are in the game. So PDS field commander has a bunch of lines for it. PDS field commoner has a bunch of lines for it. A PDS male bandit has a bunch of lines for it. You get the drift. On those lines at the beginning, you're going to see my voice pack. You're going to want to delete that and change it to what your voice pack is called. And do that for all of them. Once you've done that, head over to Unity and you should have addressables groups uh, for each of the characters in the game. You're going to want to change all of the addresses to what is found in that text file after you've changed the name from my voice pack. If you just right click and go change address, you copy and paste the lines from the text document into there. I recommend um, highlighting them in the text file, going control C and then control V. It makes it a lot quicker to go through all of those addressable addresses. I would recommend to double check that you're not pasting hit sounds where falling sounds are meant to be. So make sure that the addressables and the audio containers match up. And once that's done, it's time to edit the JSON files and it's as easy as this. A lot more copy and pasting. So copy it from my text document after you've changed the name and paste it into the JSON file. Keep an eye on the ID section in the JSON file because you want to match up attack melee with attack melee and attack bow with attack bow. But then you have to do that for all of the different characters JSON files. And then once all of that is done, all of your JSON files should look like this with the correct code pasted in there from the text document. Mind you, this one says Jack's voice pack. It should say whatever your voice pack is called, but it should look just like this. And in Unity, it should look like this as well with each of the asset bundle characters with the correct code pasted in there as well. Make sure to, again, double check it and fix any mistakes that you might have made. So any spaces in the actual file lines, make sure to get rid of them. And I noticed in this one that one of them was called My Voice Pack when it should be Jack's Voice Pack. So I just quickly changed that so that the mod correctly works. Now's the time to build your mod. Go to the top, go to Thunder Road and Mod Builder. Then this window should pop open. Then click on Game Folder Directory and find where your game is located. Select Blade and Sorcery and click OK. And then you want to tick all of the groups that you have created. I forgot to tick one, but you shouldn't. Make sure to name your voice pack what the voice pack is called and then press Build and Export. While you wait for your mod to build and export, go make yourself a cup of tea. Get the third one, I'll have you know. And then if you go into the Blade and Sorcery folder, click Streaming Assets, and then click Mods, you should see your mod in there, like so. And now you have to open that folder, and it's time to give the JSON files a brand new home. Make sure to double check in the JSON files that all of the uh, writing matches up to what is in Unity, just in case a few mistakes have been made. And once everything is clear and looks the same, move all of those JSON files into the Blade and Sorcery mod folder that you just exported. Make sure to unselect the uh, text document and don't move the folder in there either. And then copy there and make sure the manifest is in there as well because when making this mod, I forgot to put the manifest in there and the mod refused to work. And to see if your mod has correctly loaded, uh, launch the game 
and press F8. Make sure you click on the screen beforehand so that it recognizes you're trying to put an input in the game. And when you press F8, it brings up a menu, uh, the console, and it'll be able to tell you if there's anything wrong. If you can't see your JSON files loaded in the console, then your mod hasn't worked and you've done something wrong. But if I scroll up, you'll see that Jack's voice pack is working just fine. So this is how you make your very own voice pack in Blade and Sorcery. I really hope this is helpful to you. And I'll really look forward to seeing a lot more voice packs being added to Blade and Sorcery. Give this video a like if you found this helpful. And let me know if there's anything on there that you didn't find helpful either. It will help me out a lot. I'm just adding this. I don't know Unity as well as a lot of people. So if you're really stuck and you have no idea what to do and I haven't explained it well enough, then go check the Blade and Sorcery Discord page under PC VR Modding Help. Then there's an absolutely fantastic community of people who will more than happily help you out with your problem. Or just leave a comment down below and I might be able to help you. And if you found this helpful, give the video a like so that more people can find this video and learn how to make their very own voice pack in Blade and Sorcery. Again, I'll look forward to seeing what you create. And I have a little bit of bonus information at the end here, but thank you for watching. In Voice Pack Base, you will see other voice characters, which has the human female Jason with the Sith and Jedi added and human male Jason with Sith and Jedi added. And also voice Jedi Jason and voice Sith Jason. This is for the Outer Rim. If you would like, if anyone out there would like to, I've just made it easier to add Sith and Jedi voices to the game. So all you would have to do is change my voice pack to whatever your voice pack is called. Add a subsection called Sith and another subsection called Jedi and hopefully then you will be able to create your very own Sith and Jedi voices in the game but this is entirely up to you. I've just made it more accessible to people. Thank you for watching. My name is Jack the Fallout. If you like this video, give it a like. If you found it helpful as well. If you would like to join our Discord, link in the description. Also, if you want to help support us financially so I can carry on making videos like this, there's a Patreon link in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Jack the Fallout and bye for now. Also, thank you to Struman for being our code Patreon. Bye, everybody. Yes. Why did I get so posh at the end? I have no idea. <laughs>